Now, he was a motherless child who is the Victorian, valedictorian, I should say, at Booker T. Washington. A student who says his mother's murder pushed him to be an achiever. WGNO's Kenny Lopez is here with that story. Kenny. You know, Kurt and Susie, so many times we hear stories of the st on the life on the street of how when a family member is murdered, other family members get angry and try to get revenge. But this is a story of how a high school student is seeking to thrive, proving he's taking another path. So my mother was uh, hit with, with by a straight bullet May 29, 2012, sitting at a red light. Colby Daniels was just seven years old when his mom, Shawana Pierce, got caught between gunfire of gang members in a high-profile shooting, which killed Pierce and five-year-old Brianna Allen on Simon Bolivar in Central City back in 2012. That's when like, we heard the shots, and we were outside playing football, and we rushed into the house, and that's all I remember from that day. Now, 11 years later, he's reflecting on how he took losing his mother and turned it into motivation to succeed in her honor. My mom meant the world to me. She was like one of she was my best friend at the time. Like, I remember she would always say I was her dude. Like, I, I kind of felt like I was the favorite. Colby's proving his success. He's this year's Booker T. Washington High School valedictorian. His mom also graduated with honors. A graduate of Booker T. Washington High School class of 1996 and she was top three in her class, number three. I think she'd be extremely proud of me for doing what she had done, but just a little, just a little bit better, you know. She was number three, but now I'm number one. He says the support he got from his family pushed him. And my family had always been my backbone. They have always supported me throughout my academic career. You know, it's hard raising boys, you know, in, in this era, in this city. You know, I've done my best with them. Because they could have turned a different route, but they chose something positive um, and want to be, be something more. It's an accomplishment for all of us. It makes us all feel like we did right by him, we did right by his mother. This Mother's Day, Colby says the greatest gift he could give his mom, Shawana, is his success. All things must get better through a struggle, you know. It's just really mind-blowing that I actually fulfilled my dreams of being top, top of my class. Colby will be headed to Texas Southern University in Houston. He will be in the school's Ocean of Soul marching band. And at Booker T. Washington High, he was enrolled in a college credit program where he earned 60 credit hours. So at the very least, he's entering college as a second semester sophomore. So much success ahead for him, I'm sure. Thank you, Kenny. In tonight's 